Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley from the Broadway Church. Uh, if you're reading through the Bible with us with our write, reading through the Bible plan, you're uh, reading in Genesis 23 and uh, verses 23, 8 and 9, I'm going to read to you. And then, and Abraham said, if you are willing that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me, Ephron the son of Zohar, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, which he owns. It is at the end of his field. For the full price, let him give it to me in your presence as a property for a burying place. Now, friends, you might have been thinking that I was going to say something about the love of God, about his purposes for your life. And well, yes, I am. But we have a poignant chapter here in, in Genesis. Uh, Abraham's wife, Sarah, has died. He's loved her deeply. They've had a long life together. And, uh, and now, you know, though Abraham can wander from place to place and he can go where God shows him and he's waiting for the promises to unfold in his life, uh, the dead have to go someplace. And uh, it's, it's one of those spots in the Bible that reminds us that uh, our stories are part of a large, larger story. And that's good. That's an emblem of God's love. Uh, because we know for a, for a fact we shall not last forever. And this chapter, if you read it, uh, dead or the death of Sarah is referred to at least 10 times. In fact, it's so repetitive, you're saying, okay, we're, we're dealing with the issue of, uh, of our mortality. And so our stories are not just bound up in this one thing that stops. And, uh, and sometimes it can be a success. Sometimes we can say that it, it dwindles to kind of a, a sad halt. But our stories are part of the larger thing that God is doing. And he does provide for us. And he does give us the, those chances to say goodbye. And God working in your life is, is being able to recognize that. As Abraham barters with some, some of those that, that live in an area for a piece of land that's actually going to be his. And indeed, that land is still in the land that God gave to Abraham, where Abraham and Sarah are now buried and uh, God fulfills his promises, and we can trust him for all that this day will bring. Amen.